Message from the World Light Government of Ethiopia Abraham's Holy Trinity. Slash message 10 slash. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the One God, Amen. Ethiopia is a land where the glory of Trinity is revealed and be praised. Ethiopia is the inheritance of Virgin Mary. Ethiopia is light of the world. Ethiopia is governor of the world. For 17 years according to God's will, waiting their time for the entire race of Adam, messages which have been described from the breath of Abraham's Trinity the first messages which was issued on November 7, 1998 Ethiopian calendar, November 15, 2006 European calendar, the second messages which was issued on May 27, 2000 Ethiopian calendar, June 4, 2008 European calendar, the third messages which was issued on April 19, 2001 Ethiopian calendar, April 5, 2009 European calendar, the fifth messages which was issued on September 21, 2004 Ethiopian calendar, September 29, 2012 European calendar, also on the overthrow of ERDF government and about Ethiopian Orthodox Twadu, about the destruction of the government, punishment, it describes, fourth message also in the end on December 30, 2020 European calendar, December 21, 2013 Ethiopian calendar, ninth message was released. And you have heard all these messages, especially on the ninth message mainly the declared proclamation of emergency, which have been waited you for two years, even if you said it is not my case, even if you do not repent by shocking, ignore your opportunity given to you, Eliyu you continue with proud today are all done his patience is running out the entire declaration to be implemented throughout the world the order is loaded and delivered to the executors we want you to know today also. The end time has come for you. All these messages, likewise, the letters sent to all the descendants of Adam moreover, for three years statements issued at different times advises, blames, teachers, what is coming, which should be noticed regularly, for those who understand the truth for our families, based on what we have explained, the opportunity give to repent, use, understand and the entire race of Adam who could not return in the end, the summarized what came before him what is decided by God, strong action what was ordered and transferred to the end since the creation of the earth, the flow of anger of the Trinity that she did not see to express that it has arrived in front of you and it is a message to inform these. In this message, the era of conversation come back repent, do not repent, it has been completed. What happened in front of you today but the flow of anger for everyone who is not present just in the record of God's mercy as you carry out your opportunity, just to let you know your judgment will be done to you. Especially all the judgments mentioned on message 8, message 5, message 3, messages 1 and 2 above all, the declared proclamation of emergency announced by message 9, to turn it into action message 8, which is ordered to be transferred to execution also on message 5 on message 3 on messages 1 and 2 all judgments described execution appropriated as taken by God by turning it into action today you descendants of Adam fulfilling your destiny on earth close your record and make you settle to the history record. From God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, the Lord of all armies, the creator of all creation, the trinity of Abraham, which came out of Zebaeth. Strong penalties, executions, decisions, and orders. Listen today all the descendants of Adam who live on these earth. Since there is no human race that does not concern you, it is your final end so listen, and you don't have time. From the creator of all creation and creator, commanded by the Almighty, Abraham's Trinity strong punishments execution and orders done to all peoples where arrived in the land. Let it reach. To all the descendants of Adam who are scattered in front of the whole world. Psalm 73 74 Let's see the mighty word of God for those who notice and those who don't hearing is from the word of God so listen. Hear the whole race of Adam. A few families of God and the Virgin, gentle and sincere people you also you are also a witness how far the destruction of the world has gone, on yourselves and on all mankind because what you see happening is what you see listen in carefully understanding it. 
our patience which we have been waiting for is becomes over and many of us have given up hope, many of us are like apostles we are inclined to our personal flesh market just like the apostles to go fishing, to the tax collecting, we have returned to our work the result is told us because how much we miss, it is good if we see it patiently. As you know, the apostles when their shepherd is beaten when he was crucified and buried they yet that all their hopes were buried together. But God is a God who is faithful to his word human being slash the man he loved slash, whom he have paid the highest price for him and the person he respected the most, he never throw anywhere who trusting him and he is the God who never defeated and leaves him to the enemy, he is the executioner of the beginning. Always remember children of the world medicine and the virgin notice what he started, the word he said his promise God never leaves and forgetting. There is no history revealed and sent, recorded and have been considered by these is not in front of our beloved God. Apostles saw him killed death by death and when he declared our independence with victory they were in giving up condition when the news reached them. It was a miracle to them. Even today, some of our families, stating in well those who lost their conscience and lost hope by the enemy's multifaceted attack strategy we, have seen and hear that there are many who looked at us we, the servants of God, with doubt. Let it be it doesn't matter when the truth is revealed in the future when everything comes to light, even if it leads to strong regret for repentance even if broken, wounded, crushed, even dead and salvation is God's personal behavior that no one can do cheer up, the good medicine has arrived in fullness that you did not expect. Let's go to the word. 1 O oh God, why hast you cast us off forever? Why doth your anger smoke against the sheep of thy pasture? To remember thy congregation, which you hast purchased of old, the rod of yours inheritance, which you hast redeemed, this Mount Zion, wherein you hast dwelt. 3. Lift up thy feet unto the perpetual desolations, even all that the enemy hath done wickedly in the sanctuary. 4. Years enemies roar in the midst of thy congregations, they set up their ensigns for signs. 5. A man was famous according as he had lifted up axes upon the thick trees. 6. But now they break down the carved work thereof at once with axes and hammers. 7. They have cast fire into thy sanctuary, they have defiled by casting down the dwelling place of thy name to the ground. 8. They said in their hearts, Let us destroy them together, they have burned up all the synagogues of God in the land. 9. We see not our signs, there is no more any prophet, neither is there among us any that know it how long. 10. O God, how long shall the adversary reproach? Shall the enemy blaspheme thy name forever? 11. Why withdrawest you thy hand, even thy right hand? Pluck it out of thy bosom. 12. For God is my king of old, working salvation in the midst of the earth. 13. You didst divide the sea by thy strength, you breakest the heads of the dragons in the waters. 14. You breakest the heads of Leviathan in pieces, and gavest him to be meat to the people inhabiting the wilderness. 15. You didst cleave the fountain and the flood, you driedst up mighty rivers. 16. The day is yours, the night also is yours, you hast prepared the light and the sun. 17. You hast set all the borders of the earth, you hast made summer and winter. 18. Remember this, that the enemy hath reproached, O Lord, and that the foolish people have blasphemed thy name. 19 O deliver not the soul of thy turtle dove unto the multitude of the wicked, forget not the congregation of thy poor forever. 20 Have respect unto the covenant, for the dark places of the earth are full of the habitations of cruelty. 21 O let not the oppressed return ashamed, let the poor and needy praise thy name. 22 Arise, O God, plead yours own cause, remember how the foolish man reproach at you daily. 23 Forget not the voice of your enemies, the tumult of those that rise up against you increaseth continually. Psalm 73 74 So from where does the word of God come from that is more descriptive than this word? Today's enemy the enemies of God, what is your chance those who are the enemies of the people you can understand this briefly from this word, also understood the identity of Ethiopia from this word. Today's enemies of Ethiopians, Twahido, Coptic, our flag, take note of modern day snakes and phyton time will tell you in evening and morning and it takes and brought you to. 
it is not far it will settle for you in thousands fold. Where you weigh in whom God loves her and honors her, Ethiopianism whom he have paid expensive cost, Artwahido, Coptic, Faith, in the sign of the covenant in our flag green, yellow and red. You will be weighed and everything you weigh easy will be thrown into the fire. Governments of this era, both the strong and the weak are children of the phyton you are weighed you weigh easy so you will be crushed you will be consumed by fire. You heard it from the beginning. This is the truth. Let's see the word of God on prophet Isaiah chapter 40 verses from 3, because it guides all of us who seek the truth so that we can get to the core of the matter. Because we understand the truth from the heart. It will show us as and let it be as an introduction. Once you know who God is and what the pros and cons await you today, you will immediately look at the hand of God's fire in the first, great, battle, wrath, without wasting time and listen carefully. We, his servants also, his faithful servants, you will see how faithful we are when his words reaches you and measures you, enchants you, burns you, kills you. There is no saying I won't hear, the fire that will burn you, the fire that is sticking to your back will not leave you until it is finished on you like a judgment. You will know all that time when he tortures you, tortures you, insults you, understands what the battle, wrath, of our God is, sheds your tears of blood, makes you kneel before his faithful servants with his children, and licks their shoes on the ground. You will prove in your destructive actions what we, the servants of the cross, are to God, that the truth will not be lost, that the true Father, the generous Savior of the world, the Virgin Mary, the holy angels, and our holy fathers, are ours. Hear this truth. And remember, from the beginning, when the darkness swallows, when it merges, when it loses its exit and entrance, you watch us servants of God, the great Trinity, enveloped in the fire of his light, and protected. When you think of evil and trust in your own strength, when you think and decide to do it, God will punish you wherever you are. You watch us go out and come in, restricted and guarded, without any worries. No one can approach us without our permission. No one can approach the light of the world family of a righteous, kind, people without his permission, unless he permits you wherever we go, wherever we stay, wherever we go, God's gift of his blessings his loving servants, his servants' families, Ethiopia is the light of the world families, with the righteous, compassionate people, you will see this clearly with your own eyes. Listen, I tell you again, listen. For seventeen years, we, the servants of God, have tirelessly yelled out with you and cried out to you to be reconciled to God a hundred times to hear us. You have made foolish did unto us, you have rebelled against us, you have arrested us, you have killed us, you have called us madmen, stones, hypocrites, what is left of you? You have done all the wrong to us. But we have begged you so much we said to you please leave it, my brother, my sister, my father, my mother. Your guilt, your evil ways have led you to your forbiddingness today. So what should be done now, may God give you strength. Listen to him. The decision that will make you where you are and make you like a stone and dry you like a hood and make you available for the food of fire and today its fulfillment is the command of his decision that stands before you. Where are you going? Where are you hiding? There is no place to hide, even if you carry the ground, and even if you can go out to heaven, there is no place to hide. Listen. Open your ears and listen. To the voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. For, every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain, five and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. 6 The voice said, Cry. And he said, What shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all the goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field, seven the grass with a wreath, the flower fadeth, because the spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it, surely the people is grass. Eight the grass with a wreath, the flower fadeth, 
but the word of our God shall stand for ever. 9 O Zion, that bringest good tidings, get thee up into the high mountain, O Jerusalem, that bringest good tidings, lift up thy voice with strength, lift it up, be not afraid, say unto the cities of Judah, Behold your God. 10 Behold, the Lord God will come with strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him, behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. 11 He shall feed his flock like a shepherd, he shall gather the lambs with his arm, and carry them in his bosom, and shall gently lead those that are with young. 12 Who hath measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, and meted out heaven with the span, and comprehended the dust of the earth in a measure, and weighed the mountains in scales, and the hills in a balance? 13 Who hath directed the Spirit of the Lord, or being his counselor hath taught him? 14 With whom took he counsel, and who instructed him, and taught him in the path of judgment, and taught him knowledge, and shewed to him the way of understanding? 15 Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket, and are counted as the small dust of the balance, behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing. 16 And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beasts thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. 17 All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing, and vanity. 18 To whom then will ye liken God? Or what likeness will ye compare unto him? 19 The workman melteth a graven image, and the goldsmith spreadeth it over with gold, and casteth silver chains. 20 He that is so impoverished that he hath no oblation chooseth a tree that will not rot, he seeketh unto him a cunning workman to prepare a graven image, that shall not be moved. 21 Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Hath it not been told you from the beginning? Have ye not understood from the foundations of the earth? 22 It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in, 23 that bringeth the princes to nothing, he maketh the judges of the earth as vanity. 24 Yea, they shall not be planted, yea, they shall not be sown, yea, their stock shall not take root in the earth, and he shall also blow upon them, and they shall wither, and the whirlwind shall take them away as stubble. 25 To whom then will ye liken me, or shall I be equal? saith the Holy One. 26 Lift up your eyes on high, and behold who hath created these things, that bringeth out their host by number, he calleth them all by names by the greatness of his might, for that he is strong in power, not one faileth. 27 Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speakest, O Israel, my way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from my God. 28 Hast thou not known? Hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary? There is no searching of his understanding. 29 He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might he increaseth strength. 30 Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall, 31 But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings as eagles, they shall run, and not be weary, and they shall walk, and not faint. You have listened to the word. What will be the future time going to comes, you will need to know what will happen openly. It is God who speaks, for all of you who are crushed like a mountain and filled with your pride like a mountain, who look down on everything, father of evil and cruelty, who dig like a stream to bury the poor, no matter how big and how full of pride, you are unclean before God and you will be forbidden, and you will be buried in the valley and the pit. You have heard the words of the spokesman of the proclamation. The way of God in the wilderness must be straight. God has spoken of you from of old, and you will be brought down, and the wicked and the wicked will be destroyed and lost. For all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man as the sun, as the flower of grass dried up in the wilderness. God will burn and destroy with his spirit of fire and sweeps. As you heard, but the word of God stands firm. As you heard in words above, everything will happen. Rebellion and foolish did against God is now over. 
below on the next page, as you will see, while hearing the messages every 17 years, as you heard, you would carry out all the judgments described in the messages without exception. You too will go to the garbage, the people of God, the people of compassion, the sincere, the humble, the families of Ethiopia the light of the world, who stood firm, who believed in their God, patiently, who have gone through great trials to this day all are to have got compensation, the time has come for them to be free from the bondage of the devil, from hunger, from disease, and the cup is full. But those who stand in faith in God according to his word will renew their strength, like a dove, they will fly on wings, they will run, they will not tire, they will walk, they will not tire, they will reach the resurrection age. For the last time the cup of Trinity is filled, you who have the opportunity to be saved, to comfort. If you are destined for fire and death, you will be tormented and destroyed. And thou that hast heard the word of judgment by humiliating the word of judgment, and hast stood in pride and thou art clay, go to thy breaking and scattering. Yes, go and you have reached your irreversible end. Yes go, the time for you to be reconciled to your God whom you have despised and humiliated is over. There is no time given for you again, and you will be conducted before our great God, the Judge of Justice. Your race, your color, your country, your home without distinguishing the boundaries of your country without being measured by your knowledge, just because you are a descendant of Adam only. You know very well that you had to take responsibility for all the sins and wrongs you committed because you have intelligence, you are the discerner of evil and good, fire and water, light and darkness, you are the master of intelligence most of all, you are created in the image of God, and you know exactly that you had to take responsibility for all the sins and wrongs you committed. The owner of mind and God has placed in your mind something to measure it by. Accordingly, you are obliged to bear his responsibilities today. In the beginning, from the beginning, God has been there to confirm this command and his will for you and to encourage you. Whether you hear it or not, this is the truth. This is God's unchanging command, a firm command, while it follows you, while it welcomes you, and while your decisions align you, it has gone on until now. Because from the moment he created you, he honored you, loved you, and made you aware of all his will because he loved you so that you would be beautiful as a light for his glory forever, because he loves you, he has made known to you all his will, he has created you and he has done this, because of this will. That is, your stay on earth is a place where you live, respect, love, understand his will, his commandments, his system, and believe in this world of your hospitality, without being overcome by adversity instead, it is still his will that you, by your faith, believe in your God, conquer the world and your enemies, and end this strange world. To be clear to you, God created creation on this earth, and he did not give everything a lifetime of living. As you can see, everything on earth, everything in heaven, the earth that made you alive, the sun that gave you light, the wind that is your breath, deaths that stalks you, are all eventually concluded. It means that they will finish their work and be finished when God finally comes to judge. But when he does according to his word before the execution of this final judgment, it is still his will and intention to redeem the injured, to inherit the continent of the earth, to live on it, to taste the first resurrection. It is still his will and intention that those who have passed away before, who have stood firm, who have lived in anticipation of the judgment, for the blood of his faithful people, for the fathers and mothers who are waiting for his righteous judgment for their children who are alive today for us, to execute his judgment according to his promise, to lead those who are committing great sins on earth, who are despising him, to lead them for the last time, their chance to be consumed by fire. Lead them in great wrath you must understand that the decision to conduct and obey, moves to execution. You know your work, he welcomed you at the judgment, cleansed the earth, gave us a time of comfort, honored by his people on earth, honored by the Virgin Mary, honored by the holy angels, and our holy fathers honored as well by his just judgment by his just judgment, encouraged, at the end of the allowed time, Finally the enemy was released from prison, and briefly stayed in great anger when he attacked to destroy Ethiopia, 
the first continent of the earth where God's glory was expressed and praised when he attacks to destroy Ethiopia, the God will destroy the enemy with great wrath and fire in response, and will sit for the final judgment. Death will restore all that it has killed, and the sea and the earth will give back all that it has buried, and the dead will raise and the earth and heaven will be folded. The devil, the first serpent, the phyton, the false prophet, will be cast into the lake of fire forever. The execution of judgment also laid in heaven will cause the saints to stand with great honor in thanksgiving to his right hand, leaving those who despise him, those who grieve him, those who reject him, sinners, to fall to the left in great shock and fear. They will enter the heavenly kingdom prepared by God our Lord, adorned with the light of the saints with great honor and praise, surrounded by the holy angels, our ancestors, the honor of the martyrs of God. Honorably led, they will enter the heavenly kingdom prepared by God our Lord. They will enjoy it forever. Those who stand on the left are sinners who reject, believe in the devil and seem to be eternal inhabitants of this earth, who despise his word, his commandments, his system, his will, ignore all counsel, criticism, and go beyond their selfishness they will be the ones who receive the final judgment of wrath. Notice, today they subtract, add, change, and translate his word as they please, claiming to be teachers, making God the Holy Spirit, who has not revealed it to them, pretending as if he reveal it to them, igniting their carnal interpretation, and telling to all people who guide to the hallway, God raises from the place of fall, the despised, based on his word, his will in this present time, his despised servants who light up and advise, and punish, for there is no one to hear, these judgment of severe punishment came like this. Today my teacher, my father, the father of repentance, my blessing father in our church in our Tawahido, Coptic, home are the true becoming as if he is savior of mankind who have blinded all the followers and made them not hear the anger of God and they have brought him to the today's evil to an end. Who has heard us, even though we have repeatedly declared that the, the Ethiopian light of the world messages, which are commanded by God. With this anger, we have done this because no one likes to hear us, even though we are obedient to God in this time of evil, and our authority would have been to tell. We have swept away even the garbage of our feet. We have closed our doors. Even if we look at these messages today, the whole continent of the earth, in our homes in our Tawahido homes, kings, teachers, preachers, all who claim to be heretics, Catholics, Muslims, all of the faith of others also, all racists, who accept, promote and support these ideas, and with their previous ancestors, will inherit the fire of hell forever, wearing live flesh, while being tormented, and this will be forever. So notice that God is still clearly telling you today, we his servants, because you have heard and been reconciled to God, your destiny will be to stand at the right hand of his son, his beloved his praiseworthy inheritance. What if you don't hear it? If you do not listen, you will be hated and inherit hell. Before you leave this earth, you will know what your decision will be like. Oh my people, just as a student who proves his failure, who knows that he has passed his grade, when the teacher is to explain his grade, so you, son of man, so from what we are telling you today, all God's judgments and executive orders, your mind has already known its fate. No matter who says it, as soon as your mind has waited, as soon as you hear everything we have told you today, you will know where your luck has fallen. In Revelation, especially, as described in chapter 20, all that I have described to you above will be fulfilled and happened. None of them will be left behind. This is what you see today, the severe punishment of the executive judgment and the commands of the earth that the earth cannot bear, the severe throwing of it, the flood of wrath when God says, what comes out of his word will never fail, the time will come when you will see it. And we, his servants, whom we have loved to remind, of the fulfillment of his command from Trinity of Abraham, of his coming forth, are our duty to explain, inform, understand, and also to convey your judgment. We always work hard at it, it is the ability that God has given us. That is why we cry out whether you hear us or not. 
it is our job, our opportunity. Praise be to the Trinity of Abraham. Listen with your heart, when you die it is not when you are caught that you hear, today while your ears are hearing, while your eyes are seeing the act of death you fear so much, stands before you, torture and suffering today here we tell you. Be prepared to meet your final arrival, your death in torment and fire. Especially in Revelation the children of the devil, the so-called scholars, including our country, who are forced upon his word, by selfishness, spread their fleshly desires, to destroy his word, and by changing its meaning, and make the Christian people, we are watching them walk, even today, in pride, so that they do not believe in his word, do not understand it, and do not reconcile themselves to his God. They have gone too far to do evil against the word of God, the Holy Spirit. They have published and distributed many provocative books. In this evil work of theirs, Ethiopia the light of the world, has become a disease to them, and has invited their false clothes, for many years, to perish. Even then, it leads them to severe judgment and punishment. You who prostitute yourselves, as prostitutes, on his word, by selfishly, changing and humiliating your own clothes cannot be passed over without severe punishment, you will see this soon. Especially, in our church, in our Taoist house, you who are kings, you evil authorities, pastors, I am the leader, who call yourselves, we are teachers, we are clergy, deacons, we are popes, in the house of God, business and evil, denial you set up, selfishly, saying, there will be no Ethiopian resurrection, no wrath will come, no judgment, at the end, it is when the world ends, everything will happen, the people of God, not to be reconciled, not to repent, not regret, that the wide path of evil, which you have started, will end, which you do, that you hold the evil spirit of the enemy, that you are full of pride and heart, full of sin, because today your judgment is out you need to know that if you enter any pit, you will be forbidden, obeyed, with a fierce anger that cannot be understood anywhere. Your selfishness, your heart, your loyalty, filled with the devil, will not let you go until you are fulfilled, good conduct, we say to you. Let us look at his words again today. Revelation chapter 20 dash. 1 And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. 2 And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, 3 And cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years should be fulfilled, and after that he must be loosed a little season. 4 And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus, and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads, or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. 5. But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. 6. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection, on such the second death hath no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. 7. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison, 8. And shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. 9. And they went up on the breadth of the earth, and compassed the camp of the saints about, and the beloved city, and fire came down from God out of heaven, and devoured them. 10. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night for ever and ever. 11. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. 12. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their works. 
13 And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. 14 And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. 15 And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Therefore, to darken and take out of the minds of men this inexhaustible word of God, there is nothing that all the devil's slaves, though weary, have not opened to the light, for behold, the time has come running to you. We're going to check it out. You are going to taste the fruits of your labor. You seem to live forever, and really pretended to you, for your flesh, when you went out, when you went down, like a wolf in the morning, while eating the dead donkey, his stomach, refusing to be satisfied, from the donkey being eaten, his eyes all over his body and they came to the ass, and they bound him there. Like the donkey, they decompose him there. Because you are human nature, clothed with the characteristics of the hyena, but representing the hyena, and resembling him in action, the Father has come, and there for your hearts, as you were baptized, as you were called, you destroyed the temple of God, right away, to the leaders of the devil, you have trusted, you have betrayed the God who created you, you are caught hand in hand, as it is said. So it's over, what do you have to do? It's all over. The fire will eat you. Two years ago, you were told in a letter that your chances were told to you clearly. When you were told that God had prepared you, faithful shepherds, for the judgment of wrath, your hearts were troubled, and instead of being reconciled to God, you launched a campaign of evil, selfishness, contempt. Make the dogs to yell whom you bought with food residue, with the devil's government, you secretly conducted imprisonment, exile, torture, against the families of Ethiopia, the light of the world. You thought there was ignoring the silence. Now here you are, the perpetrator and the perpetrator, of this entire act, every supporter, condemned to be consumed by fire. The order has reached the executors. Here, whether you are at homeland or abroad, according to your work, you will receive your reward. No one escapes the judgment of justice, from God. And it never happened. By the decision of Holy Trinity, the executor of the plan, you have allowed your mind and everything to be ridiculous, and you have made him command you, and you are there for great evil to come, and destruction, for no one but you, punishment can accuse you. By the decision of Holy Trinity, the executor of the plan, you have allowed your mind and everything to be ridiculous, and you have made him command you, and you are there for great evil to come, and destruction, for no one but you, can accuse you. Now when you are caught up in judgment, when death reigns over you, when hurt, the worst hurt, comes upon you, when you pray for death to take you, and it mocks you, then, remember the families of Ethiopian light of the world. When they cry out to you, when they tell you, saying, reconcile with God, while they cry out to you, filled with pride, remember your answer and your actions. In particular, it is your actions that have heard the leaders of our Ethiopian Orthodox Church, who claim to be teachers and scholars, openly on satellite television broadcasts, themselves, when they criticize Ethiopia World Light, when they insult us, when they accuse it of heresy, whenever they complain, it is your actions that hear. With this, just like the parrot, as you know parrots, like humans, are vocal learners, meaning they grasp sounds by hearing and then imitating them without adding it and never missing the original sound they hear, follow you, like our God, without weighing left and right without hearing our voices, and without reading our messages, they have gone on to this day calling us heresy, in every meeting place, in every coffee place, and chewing us like gum. And the young man, the government spies, in the place where they gathered, in the dirty association, in your words the association of the saints, and we in the former name and good former deeds, by children of truth that was established, in various ways, who have destroyed those who stood for the truth, who were in them, and replaced them with spies, hypocrites, who are going on a campaign to destroy the truth, which is the dream of the devil and we have called them filthy association by the 
extent of their actions. The Sunday school, like these unclean associations, is an attack on us. They are the ones who opened it. And whoever you are, young people, who hold fast to the monotheistic faith, who are doing this collapsing work, as much as you support it, as long as you take it from them, you are a member of the associations of the dirty. Your judgment has come after you. We have come today with this executive command, not to invite you to come to God and be reconciled. Not only that, but to show you that you are finished in place, and not only that, it is decreed by God that we, like the faithful servant, are pastoral, his command, and we his servants, encourage, and on our part, the command of Holy Trinity. And to assure you that the command of Holy Trinity is firm. We are commanded to deliver his servants, his message, his command, his decision, his fulfillment, all to the seed of Adam, to the whole world, we are as far less than everyone, in knowledge and existence, and in human measure. We have resisted the order which is difficult for us, not to accept it. We accepted the obligation, for it is never possible to forbid God's will. And as he said, we've done it. Without depriving us of time, giving us ample opportunity, time to regret, giving us abundantly, he has been patient with you today, tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, the morning of all the years, waiting for you to return. Your contempt, the owner of all sins, and you are a native of contempt, the main ones, lying, fornication, greed, deception, contempt, self-knowledge, all the fruits of sin, which you have gathered, you would not hear, you will not develop. Because of your knowledge and reason, you would never hear. There was a number of efforts that God has made to draw you to himself. He has sent you many counselors, many advisors, faithful servants he has sent it to you. The people have become participants and supporters. However, towards the end, God, we weak servants, has sent and explained to you his judgment, his coming wrath. A message that has spent seventeen years, and still in the effort, the human being you have not heard, has not accepted. Throughout these seventeen years of our cries, no one, except a very small number of people, has heard us who ever want to hear us and receive us, believe us, was not found. During this seventeen-year journey, the nine messages, issued in due course, the first message, starting on November 7, 1998 according to Ethiopian calendar, and lasting for two years, the second message, the third message, the fourth message, the fifth message, the sixth message, which are not explained on public, containing the constitutions of God, in which we have delivered the seventh, eighth, and ninth messages, to the people, and at various times, we have delivered a number of notices, as well as letters, advice, and teachings. Did you hear us? They never heard us. Today no one has not heard about Ethiopia the light of the world. Everyone has heard. The people of the whole world, almost, look upon us with righteous contempt and hatred, and have launched a very tactical and comprehensive campaign against us. Furthermore, the people of many faces, those in power, the religious institutions of this year, are the richest, the greatest countries, the self-proclaimed and in all industries, in all the achievements of knowledge, all those who claim to be at the peak of development and in all industries, in all the products of knowledge, for all who claim to be at the peak of growth, the responsible for the devil, the first serpent, the dragon, the false prophet, we, the servants of Holy Trinity, filled with evil hatred, multifaceted and many-branched campaign onto us. Today also, in a worse way, they continue. However we abated, the command of God who created us, in no way, without distorting, the will of God, which is this evil age, and the generation that will judge onto it, whether punishment, warning, strong wrath, embracing the word of Holy Trinity we have been and continue to express it in every communication strategy, in every opportunity. Thank God, we have done our duty and are satisfied. Since the creation of the human race, who have not shown contempt and denial. 
you the generation of today, you have reached and carried out a rebellion you've done it also. For seventeen years, while we cry, hear man, when we say, all mankind, hear us, with your sins, your guilt, your infinite contempt, you have offended your God, you have humiliated his patience, you have despised, you have betrayed, as if he did not exist please return, be reconciled to your God wrath has come, not you are porridge of soil, the earth is dry, the great wrath and its flood has come, you cannot endure, please like Sodom and Gomorrah, like the people of Noah's day, not measurable, we told. You not to bring an evil that you never reached, seven times, more than that. Who will hear us, in the minds of men, because we know the wrath of God is so great, that your terrible destruction has brought us, so that you understand us, there is no way we have not worked hard, it has not happened. Don't get lost, we cried, who would hear us? This generation, the present generation, will be a flowing generation, very wicked, filled with extreme and excessive contempt, relying on its understanding, surrounded by the tools of learning, all its body, even if punished, never returned. Even today, when you see, or hear, the execution of judgments and orders, you, the owner of contempt, say that it is beautiful for me, as soon as your mouth brings it to you, and your heart is filled with sin humiliated, the next in-line owner, who is your mouth and tongue, with no open locks, criticize, despise, humiliate, insult, ridicule and you think there is life. To this day, you've said whatever you want. There is nothing you haven't said to us. Beyond the whip of the mouth, you have been hand and glove with this devil's agent, this government, and you have immigrated and imprisoned the families of Ethiopian light of the world, especially to the northern part of our country. You've worked hard to stand out from the community and isolate them. Nowadays, as this year is called, it is the age of information, with various social media, in various places of worship, in churches, in all secret meetings, campaigns, and discussions, all topics revolve around us and about us. The truth is, it is the magic of the wicked generation that will perish right now, before it is too late, and we are not God's messengers. Listen, even today, history and truth, magic is repeated. Like Pharaoh, so, like in recent times the human beast Hitler, with contempt, and evil, denial, tribulation, lies, filled with, self as eternal, counted, the patience of God, with contempt, with ridiculing, for you are watching, and today when this message comes out, as you have learned, with the strange criticism you put out of your mouth, for your ridiculous words, how you pay, because we, the people of God, understand exactly, whatever you want whatever you say, we will feel sorry for you not. For us. Your background fault, the severe judgment you carry on your back, we are watching, with great trembling, waiting. It is very frightening, it is terrible because the pharaohs of this year, filling the whole world, are flowing in his time, the contempt of Pharaoh and the denial of his heart, his hatred and contempt, his courage and stubbornness, today. By the chief leader, the prostitutes, the rulers, the leaders and the walkers of the bargain, who claim to know, who are covered with the clothes of the scholars, who fill the administration, the stage and the church, who say, who is there but us? All of you who fill the halls, the pulpits, and the churches, have captured the whole people, thrown them into slavery and the works of the devil, and delivered billions of people to the last supper of fire. It is amazing era. An amazing generation. Judge us by force destroy me, he said, constantly awakening the wrath of God, who works hard for the generation, look, tomorrow to be buried in the dust, hear his answer today, a wonderful age that I said is because of this. On each forehead, she waits for her final command, and the messages destroys all, armed with their sword and fire, but he pretend as if he is a man who lives for many years, and we will see if he stays we will see how hard he works to survive. He is the living contempt of himself, and the generation by whom he think of the earth is also is created and commanded by him. All the descendants of Adam, 
what would we say to you? What is there that we have not told you? How did Pharaoh take the judgment, on God's part, to let the people of Israel go? How did he entertain God's sent servants? Why did he say that? What did he accomplish? What about the ending? What's the matter? Simply put, it is better to look at it as an example for you, who have carried an even worse soul. That contempt Pharaoh, to whom that satiated man trusted the magicians, magicians, evildoers, idols, then called Soker if we see how he believed in I. For those of you today, we will describe to you as an example to many of the plants that have grown on the earth, both large and small, pharaohs both small and large. Pharaoh, in his day, was a respected, triumphant, strong and prosperous kingdom on the borders of the Middle East, in Africa, in the northern part. It was a strong and prosperous government. The people of Israel counted in their thousands, who have been oppressed and slaved by the government. In this comfortable life, as the head of the Egyptian government, he faced a challenge he never imagined, God came to him for judgment. The word of God tells us Exodus chapter 9. 1 Then the Lord said unto Moses, Go in unto Pharaoh, and tell him, Thus saith the Lord God of the Hebrews, Let my people go, that they may serve me. 2 For if thou refuse to let them go, and wilt hold them still, 3 Behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thy cattle which is in the field, upon the horses, upon the asses, upon the camels, upon the oxen, and upon the sheep, there shall be a very grievous murin. 4 And the Lord shall sever between the cattle of Israel and the cattle of Egypt, and there shall nothing die of all that is the children's of Israel. 5 And the Lord appointed a set time, saying, Tomorrow the Lord shall do this thing in the land. 6 And the Lord did that thing on the morrow, and all the cattle of Egypt died, but of the cattle of the children of Israel died not one. 7 And Pharaoh sent, and, behold, there was not one of the cattle of the Israelites dead. And the heart of Pharaoh was hardened, and he did not let the people go. 8 And the Lord said unto Moses and unto Aaron, Take to you handfuls of ashes of the furnace, and let Moses sprinkle it toward the heaven in the sight of Pharaoh. 9 And it shall become small dust in all the land of Egypt, and shall be a boil breaking forth with blains upon man, and upon beast, throughout all the land of Egypt. 10 And they took ashes of the furnace, and stood before Pharaoh, and Moses sprinkled it up toward heaven, and it became a boil breaking forth with blains upon man, and upon beast. 11 And the magicians could not stand before Moses because of the boils, for the boil was upon the magicians, and upon all the Egyptians. 12 And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, and he hearkened not unto them, as the Lord had spoken unto Moses. 13 And the Lord said unto Moses, Rise up early in the morning, and stand before Pharaoh, and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord God of the Hebrews, Let my people go, that they may serve me. 14 For I will at this time send all my plagues upon thine heart, and upon thy servants, and upon thy people, that thou mayest know that there is none like me in all the earth. 15 For now I will stretch out my hand, that I may smite thee and thy people with pestilence, and thou shalt be cut off from the earth. 16 And in very deed for this cause have I raised thee up, for to shew in thee my power, and that my name may be declared throughout all the earth. 17 As yet exaltest thou thyself against my people, that thou wilt not let them go. 18 Behold, tomorrow about this time I will cause it to rain a very grievous hail, such as hath not been in Egypt since the foundation thereof even until now. 19 Send therefore now, and gather thy cattle, and all that thou hast in the field, for upon every man and beast which shall be found in the field, and shall not be brought home, the hail shall come down upon them, and they shall die. 20 He that feared the word of the Lord among the servants of Pharaoh made his servants and his cattle flee into the houses, 21 And he that regarded not the word of the Lord left his servants and his cattle in the field. 22 And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch forth thine hand toward heaven, that there may be hail in all the land of Egypt, upon man, and upon beast, and upon every herb of the field, throughout the land of Egypt. 23 And Moses stretched forth his rod toward heaven, 
and the Lord sent thunder and hail, and the fire ran along upon the ground, and the Lord rained hail upon the land of Egypt. 24 So there was hail. And fire mingled with the hail, very grievous, such as there was none like it in all the land of Egypt since it became a nation. 25 And the hail smote throughout all the land of Egypt all that was in the field, both man and beast, and the hail smote every herb of the field, and break every tree of the field. 26 Only in the land of Goshen, where the children of Israel were, was there no hail. 27 And Pharaoh sent, and called for Moses and Aaron, and said unto them, I have sinned this time, the Lord is righteous, and I and my people are wicked. 28 Entreat the Lord, for it is enough, that there be no more mighty thunderings and hail, and I will let you go, and ye shall stay no longer. 29 And Moses said unto him, As soon as I am gone out of the city, I will spread abroad my hands unto the Lord, and the thunder shall cease, neither shall there be any more hail, that thou mayest know how that the earth is the Lord's. 30 But as for thee and thy servants, I know that ye will not yet fear the Lord God. 31 And the flax and the barley was smitten, for the barley was in the ear, and the flax was bold. 32 But the wheat and the re were not smitten, for they were not grown up. 33 And Moses went out of the city from Pharaoh, and spread abroad his hands unto the Lord, and the thunders and hail ceased, and the rain was not poured upon the earth. 34 And when Pharaoh saw that the rain and the hail and the thunders were ceased, he sinned yet more, and hardened his heart, he and his servants. 35 And the heart of Pharaoh was hardened, neither would he let the children of Israel go, as the Lord had spoken by Moses. This was a temptation for God's people and the shepherds, Moses etc. God said I will bring one more great scourge, and after that, you will let them go. God, according to his word, poured out the greatest wrath upon Egypt. The people of Egypt, all the rulers and structures, all the animals, including the firstborn child, were taken to death. Accordingly, death became king over all the houses of Egypt. It was a great shock. The Egyptians, and Pharaoh, begged the people of Israel, saying, Here is your gold, here is your precious things, just take them, and before all your seed is gone, take whatever you want and go, and Pharaoh begged. As God spoke, it was finished, without omitting anything, without subtracting anything. The people of Israel were freed from Egyptian slavery forever. God will bring many servants, many counselors, to turn, rescue, and heal every age, all the seed of Adam, from the evil way he is going. Because he loves mankind so much and, above all, is nominated for eternal glory, he has often been patient. Does human being heard? No one. When we live on the continent that was the earth, then it is clear that we understand that everything has an end. And if we say that there is someone who does not understand this, it is doubtful that that person is thinking properly, and it is not wrong to say that. Our ancestors, when faced with temptations and difficulties, first looked at the shortcomings themselves, the faults on the part of their faith. They will examine and understand what has offended God, and based on it, they will fall to their God, individually and in groups, declaring fasting and prayer, humiliating themselves before God, with many cries and tears. God also heard, we can look at the people of Nineveh, as an example. The Israelites, because of their repeated sins, accordingly fell and repented before God, when various punishments, in varying degrees, came upon them. Immediately God, was reconciled with them. This truth has always been the true way by which God has kept mankind alive, counseled, and raised them, so that a few of them may reach eternal glory. Mankind has always grieved God, for the good things he has prepared for him, by contempt, for the market of this time living on the continent of the earth, doing evil, and has walked much of his life, and reached on the path of evil, to its fulfillment. And the generation of today, to tell the truth, in the history of mankind before this, never committed, heard, or seen, any kind of sin, in all his life, he made sin king unto himself, 
God who created him, completely rejected him, and stood firm by this. So, O son of man, who is the descendants of Adam, who hear for the last time today executive judgments and commands, in the previous messages, you have been looking at the judgments by stages, only plagues. The first message, since it came out, you have been the king of sin on whole world, the greatest product of sin, you are sowing. You have forsaken the fear of God, and have said stubbornly that you do not exist, and that you do not know your God, and have made all your sins your own by your stubborn rebellion. You have been found to be the father of these sins and, the perpetrator and participant. Today you are about to receive your decision, which is even more difficult, to accept it openly, you are near. Like the Easter lamb, like the rooster for slaughter, the day was full, and the wrath of the Lord God, which is very great, was to be conducted. In the seventeen years, the hall of sin, you have entered, there is no great work that has not been done to save you. All the works, which are useless, have become. All your decisions have been told to you, repeatedly explained to you, advised, told to you, prayed for, great reminders have been given to you, and all the various punishments that can bring you back have not been heard. At least, never worry, your contempt, from human nature, invisible, inaudible, especially for everyone, boasting, you have lived it in action, and you are living it. You figured it out as if the Holy Trinity doesn't exist. Our cry, however, is that you have always learned that we do not expect to see anything different today. However, what do you see in today's message, as mentioned in the title, Execution of Judgment and Command, different from previous messages? Yes, for you, who do not understand, and the past messages, do not read, for your ears, prepared for you by voice, because you are not armed, and you do not hear even if you are told today, for you, a generation that has been deceived, whatever our messages, we may explain, all teachings, words of judgment, are useless to you. It doesn't hurt us, after all, you have to understand that today's is exactly different. It's very unique. It's very unique. Look at message 1 and message 2, carefully. For all the descendants of Adam, today for all the great sin, which he is committing, before God, his judgment is considered, the word of judgment, has come and the rod of scourge, the scourge to come, if we have explained to you step by step. You have been called again and again to be reconciled to God. You've even been told to come back. The role in the world, what the opportunity will be, is clearly assured to you. In the second message, it has shown you the global economic collapse, the increase in temperature, and others, in action for signs, by reinforcing the decision of the first message, and by reinforcing the penalties for symbols. In the third message, describing all the countries, on their own individuality, what was judged upon them, if they did not return, what would happen to them, very frankly, was explained, they did not hear. The fourth message, focused solely on the decision on the Ethiopian issue, explained. The O.P.D.O. leader and, his government, were set conditions, and the sentence he would face, if he said he would not return, was explained. Especially to Malas Zinoi, three letters in a continuous way, were sent to him it became clear to everyone, you haven't heard. The fifth message brought a word of judgment, even more tremendous, and according to it, the world's serious injury was clearly described. You haven't heard. The sixth message, as the word of proclamation, is the law of God, the laws of the Holy Trinity, clearly proclaimed to the world in the future, in the resurrection age, by which it will be governed. This is explained, that Ethiopia will move to the main rise, led by the Holy Trinity Constitution, for a short time, by a transitional government, and that it will be led by the main Holy Trinity Constitution, and that the world, under Ethiopian leadership, it was explained. It was clearly told that it would not be explained to this present, wicked generation, this generation that had rejected its Lord unexplained, it was clearly stated. The seventh message, 
the constitutions of the Holy Trinity, became therefore timely for anyone, without explanation. The eighth message came with an even, much stronger word of judgment. No one liked to hear it. All the evil and contempt of mankind, contempt and don't care, governments and church institutions, than before, much worse. Actually, the ridicule, the criticism, the migration, continued. The Ethiopian family of the light of the world, hosted many injuries. Although God's patience was abundant, a solution would have been necessary, so the ninth message came out. Yet no one, who was shocked, a judgment that came with a strong and heavy declaration, and would hold the whole world, decisively and, in the whole world, would be executed. It refused to happen. The whole world was hardened by not hearing. 